Hello there, Internet, and welcome back to this Let's Play of Spelunky. Today we'll be doing another daily challenge, and it's gonna be the daily challenge of this January. It's January this month, it turns out. January 20th. And as you could tell from um, the loading times here, my internet is working very hard right now. And the reason for that is that I'm uploading a very special run to YouTube. And I'm not sure if it's gonna come up after or before this run. If it's gonna come up before, then what I said will probably seem nonsensical because you've already seen the other run. So let's see if I can make it come up after instead, because yeah, that would make a little bit more sense. I'm scared by this situation. Um, there we go. Indeed, that will be a very special run that you should check out when you get the opportunity and you will know which one it will be. It's not really that special. No, I've made it out to, to be a whole lot more than it actually is. Actually, it is pretty special. Just check it out and, uh, and determine if you think if it's special or not. Um, let's just use Monty to soak up some damage here. Little scared about the possibility of an air trap sitting around here. That does not seem to be the case though. What a boring first floor. Minuscule amount of, uh, of amounts of gold, but lots of tricky platforming to be done. Which takes up concentration, as you can tell. Could have probably ghosted that one. It looks like it's pretty easy to get up and down here on the bottom floor. But yeah. Seems a little excessive for, for a single gem. Alright. Even though it's pretty boring, I guess, uh, and I just said that it did not contain a whole lot of gold, it did get $14,000, which is pretty good for a first floor. Here's an altar. Altars are interesting. I should probably check what uh, other people got on Steam. Uh, what kind of scores they got, just to see what I'm up against here. That was kind of a waste of a rock. I'm not even sure exactly what I was trying to do with it. It's not like that, that spider post a very big threat anyway. <clears throat> So, what we're looking for now, let's find Mon- Weesh, there was a spider in there. Could have hit me. Um, useful stuff, I would say, in that shop. And Monty is right there. So I think what we'll do is just make sure that we get him before time becomes an issue. There's also some other stuff down here. <clears throat> I'm not sure, I might have been able to, I could have done this without a, using a bomb, I'm sure, by just um, going up from below using a rope instead. A spider is a little annoying. There we go. So, I mean, I see that matting in there, which uh, tells me that I should maybe be ghosting at some point. Um, but yeah, I do not feel very confident doing that. Also, now I have climbing gloves, which is actually kind of a problem here. Oh! <laughs> and the reason why climbing gloves is a problem is that I can't use my ordinary strategy for killing shopkeepers. Um, instead, I had to do that thing, which uh, almost killed me. I'm a little surprised it didn't. So the question is, should I stick with the Matic for now? Uh, why is the shopkeeper still alive? It's a little annoying to me. I guess I can put down the Matic and then worry about that situation in a second. For now, let's just try to get rid of him. Um, I guess we might as well sacrifice his body as well. Now that it's kind of easy. So, um, there's the terrible chill. I, of course, do not have the Ujida yet, so I can't really tell if it's used it to stick with the Matic for now. 
Uh, what do I do here? Let's go with the Matic. Let's um, let's see. We will probably get a the Ujedi on the next level or the level after that one. So that will allow us to see if uh, if this is going to be worth it or not. Uh, entire situation is a little bit annoying. So we will definitely be getting um, paste on this level. I really do not like spider levels. They're so difficult compared to ordinary runs. But um, I did see four spiders in a cluster down here. <clears throat> so what that probably means is that I will be getting eight. I only had three bombs. That's actually quite an issue. If I had the bombs to kill these guys, what I could do um, was simply ghost all the gems. But I don't. Oh, that was, that was the worst damage. And what I can do instead is just go down here. And um, and get around that entire situation because I mean <laughs> having to deal with those spiders will most likely be my death unless I can somehow trick them into falling on some of these spikes. But now I don't have paste. Huh. Yeah, I'm not sure if there is a good way of dealing with that situation. Also, right now, I would very much like to have a shotgun because somewhere down here, there is going to be a very angry shopkeeper that I will have no defense against. That did not make it better. I'm... Um Beginning to think that just making a run for it would be the correct thing to do here. I mean, if I get up here, chances... Okay, Monty is dead now anyway, so... Oh, there is a vault here. Wow. I all of a sudden regret my decision. But we're still alive. And that's not always the case in daily challenges. I'm not sure what I just said made any sense at all, but... I tend to not worry that much about it either, so... So the best thing right now would of course be if we manage to find a second altar. At least the Ujidai is kind of easy to get here. We got another compass, that's not very useful at all. And because if we could find that second altar... Um, well, that of course means that we will be... Oh, wow. We'll be getting the Kapala and we desperately need that right now. I'm down to one health. It actually very rarely happens that I die sort of of natural courses, so to speak, on the mines. What was that? But um, that might just end up happening here. All right, so let's keep Monty alive. At least try to. Um, and then also, now that we do have the Ujidai, we should start uh, mining for gems. Wow! That was an amazing shot! <laughs> oh, that's horrible. Uh, it looks like Penske did a little bit better than we did. $50,000 better. Alright, that was not very uh, successful at all. So, um, as I tend to do, let's just uh, end this off with a couple of speedruns as well, because... Yeah, why not? What's this thing here? Is that always been there? The one I'm standing on right now? It looks new. Might not be there. All right, speed running. Uh, that requires a um, specific mindset. And um, yeah. Oh, this is not the correct mindset. Matic, useful. Getting hit by arrows, less useful. Ah, oh, this is bad for speed running. 
Okay, so that was um, that was ridiculously bad. But now we can do this, and that's faster. All right, that was slightly better, but uh, still, <laughs> one health by one two. It's not bowed very well at all. Um, right, you can't whip arrow traps um, if you are yielding um, the medic. Also, probably wouldn't have been able to whip that arrow trap anyway, but... Hey, it worked! That alone def uh, means that this run is a success. Oh, that was not very successful though. What a terrible layout. As you can tell, I'm still struggling a little bit with my controller. Um, it very much wants me to climb ladders when I'm just trying to move horizontally. It's just a little annoying. It's not too bad though. Um, right. Snake pit, probably won't bother dealing with that. What's the shopkeeper got? Nothing. Essentially, anyway. Oi! Yeah, I did see that arrow trap just a little too late. So what does this shopkeeper have? Hired help. Also not very useful. Let's see if we can make it to the mines. That would make me... A little happier. We need to make it to the mines at least once per run. That could have almost uh, killed me by, by simply taking fall damage there. Why are there so many explosions on this level? I guess there is some powder box uh, stuff going on somewhere. I will actually go grab Monty even though it's uh, bad for time. Just because I'm solo right now. And we're in the mines! No, now we're out of the mines. And uh, we are on a dead our restless level and we can actually get our health back if we want to. Um, I'm using two bombs to do this, which uh, might be a horrible idea. Um, might have been more useful to get the shotgun. And um, and then just go for, for the eight health. My logic was that... Ah, oh, shit. Um, that this level is so easy uh, that we can just make our way out of it. Like that. That uh, took 14 seconds. I imagine a, an average jungle level takes longer than that. Still, uh, we're not doing too well on this one. I'm dead. <laughs> Alright, last one. Monty, my friend, you will come with me, and together we will conquer the speedrunning world. Okay, so what's my goal for this one? Um, I want to get a time which is less than 2 minutes and 18 seconds. Then I will be happy. Ugh! That was not very good at all. Dream high. Dream... Far dream high, what's it called? Dream, just dream. That's all we can really do. Oh, controller, stop doing this to me. <laughs> I wonder if that's just me. If anybody out there is, is using an Xbox controller, I'd love to hear if you have the same problem. Um, some good stuff in there, I suppose. Climbing gloves could have made it easier to get down faster without taking fall damage, I imagine. There's a Monty. Come on. There we go. Pretty lucky placement of that skull right there. Why are there so many spiders? Can I even do anything about this guy? Uh, at least I can get paste out of him. That's something. In particular, because now I can actually buy stuff. 
Wow. <lacht> äh, did that happen because I felt close in close proximity to the bar? Okay, I'm not even sure. Anyway, uh, that's gonna make it for this run. Thank you everybody for watching. I will see you some other time.